These numbers right here across the board, they will continue to fall. You won't be seeing 50s when you wake up tomorrow morning. I'm going to take you to some hot spots right now where we're seeing a lot of heavy to moderate rainfall across the area. Places like Hickory, you have been drenched all day long. Just look at where the darker shades of red are. That shows you where the downpours are really occurring there. So Brookside, you just kind of missed it. That will continue to track towards Fair Plains. Light rain entering your region right now. It's up to around 98 miles per hour, and we're continuing to watch it track towards the north and the northeast at about 14 miles per hour. So for I'm thinking damaging winds and the potential for some heavy rainfall will be our biggest threats here. But this is the cold front that will be marching its way across the area throughout our Monday. So this upper level low pressure system tracking its way across the eastern United States for the second half of the weekend and into Monday. So what does that mean for us? Well, a little bit extra cloud coverage across the foothills in the Piedmont. Not much for precept, but if you like the snow showers, you're a ski lover there. The mountains getting a nice little fresh powder coating opening night just wrapped up here at Sugar Mountain and conditions were perfect for people to come hit the slopes. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. You it can is, hear it on yeah. our roof. It is coming down outside of our studios here. So heavy rain across the area. Still have that flood watch in effect. Check out the seven days. Not a lot of sunshine today. No. Like, oh, no. But not a lot of rain either. Yeah, I know. It's just a gloomy kind of day. Yeah. It's going to be cloudy rain, right? Yes. I think you'll see that for tomorrow. It is the spring weather. It is here. We have the showers and the thunderstorms, but April showers bring... May May flowers. Flowers. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Let's talk about today. Temperatures here, 65 below average for us. It's the second day in the row of that. At least, though, we picked up some rainfall, and uh, surely we could always use more rainfall across the area here since we are still a little bit on the drier side. But temperature-wise, it was just kind of cool and dreary with the light winds there, and you can start to see the cloud coverage settling in across the Queen City. So Mike Johnson's Hickory Toyota Tower Cam showing you some patchy fog starting to settle in across the area. And I want to show you visibility across the region, too. Rock Hill, you're down to four miles there. So, yeah, take it easy if you're going to be heading out even into the early morning hours because the visibility could be on the lower end there. And uh, just a little bit over a quarter mile there for Jefferson and Boone. So visibility down across the mountains. And I think that that will start to improve more so tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures will improve as well. But we'll stay pretty steady with a mix of some upper 50s and lower 60s throughout the overnight hours. Not much to track for rainfall. Can't rule out the possibility of a stray shower, but we're going to see a brief period here of some drier weather as that front moves away from us. It was that stationary front that gave us those lingering showers throughout the day today. Finally, that's coming to an end, but now we're going to start to see a more summer-like pattern really develop here. So what does that mean for us? It means a southerly flow returns, warmer temperatures here, but also pop-up showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. So notice it's on the dry side. You still have some of the cloud coverage into the early morning. Morning hours, the high country, you could see a stray shower or two, and then a few showers moving in across the lunch hour, but starting to ramp up a little bit more and become more active throughout the afternoon. So places like Iredell County, Rohan County, you could see maybe a thunderstorm or two passing across the area, but once you lose the daytime heating, notice the thunderstorm chances, they go away as well. It's mild for tonight. I mentioned that the clouds are helping us out with that, and then we'll see a few of those early morning showers in the mountains. I think we'll see partly sunny skies tomorrow and also some warmer temperatures. But also, as I mentioned, don't put the umbrella away just yet because we do have the chance for those isolated thunderstorms that will be moving across the area. Now, if you like the warmer weather, that's some good news for you. The 80s are back in the forecast for us, not only for tomorrow, but also for Friday. But unfortunately, if you have plans outside this weekend, well, if you're looking for your... I don't know, your lawn to be watered there. You're definitely yes. going to get that. I know we wanted I'll that. I'll take it. I know that Jeff wanted that as well, <laughs> REP there. So he's going to get a lot of rain showers over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we can do to make our boss happy. Yes. Exactly. We're yeah. happy to do that, Jeff. I delivered it <laughs> Just for you. For you. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Jeff. Got it. <laughs> Crews still have a lot of work to do when it comes to removing trees that fell here in Elizabeth, but we saw damage like this all across the area today. It wasn't a very loud noise, and then about 10, 15 minutes later, two fire trucks showed up and lit up the whole house. Virginia Shear says she was house-sitting in Elizabeth when she heard this tree fall around midnight. Charlotte City Arborist said the department got 54 calls about fallen trees and limbs in the past two days. Storms caused lots of damage in Rock Hill, which had 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts. One man says he saw part of a family dollar store crash to the ground. The structure on top. It collapsed. 
and it hit the sign. Entire neighborhoods in Rock Hill lost power for hours. I seen power lines all over the road and everything, so here we are. We've been out of power since 10 o'clock this morning. Trees falling weren't the only issues that some people had. With all the heavy rain over the past couple of days, it's made bridges and roads impassable for some people across the area. Dutch Buffalo Creek flooded, making it dangerous to drive on Bowman Barrier Road near Mount Pleasant. And this road, you know, it's just real low in the water. And when it rises up, it just gets over really, really fast. About a mile away, drivers braved the roads flooded by the Rocky River. Now, since this tree fell on private property, the city told the owner that she's responsible for the damage, so it could be a while before this mess gets cleaned up. Live in Elizabeth, meteorologist Michelle Rotella, WCCB News.